Hello everyone, welcome to LRDA Prep. So we are discussing CAT 2020 slot 2 DILR section. A uh, colored bead set is what we are discussing. Let's have a discussion on it. We have already covered question number one in the previous video. So I hope you go through that video first so that you get a basic idea of what are the instructions here. But again, uh, in this particular set, the instructions are not much. What you are doing is you have total 25 beads, right? of three colors and these three colors are red, blue and green. In a five into five matrix, in a five into five matrix, you are supposed to place the beads with three condition in the minds. And what are these three conditions? That two adjacent beads along the same ray or column are always of different colors. So two same color cannot be used. And at least one green between any two blue beads, right? So between any two blue, I need at least one green, right? And the third condition is one blue and at least one green, at least one blue and at least one green beads between any two red beads. So between any two red, I need at least one blue and at least one green, right? These are the three conditions that you're supposed to take, keep in mind. And the question number two is, the question number two says, what is the maximum possible, right? So keep this in mind, maximum possible number of red beads that can appear in any configuration. So whatever configuration that you want to make, you can make. But one thing that you need to keep in your mind is that the red beads should be as maximum as possible. I need to maximize the number of the red beads. Okay. So if I have to maximize the number of red beads, I will look at the condition number three first. Why? Because this is a condition which is talking about the red beads. What does it say? That between any two red beads, I need at least one green and one blue. And logically, if I use this information with this word maximum, maximizing the red beads mean I need to I need to minimize the number of green and blue between the two reds. Why? Because in a five into five matrix, right? In a five into five matrix, the number of cells are limited. How many cells you have? The number of cells are 25. If the number of cells are limited, and I want to maximize the number of red beads in a 5 into 5 matrix. I need, I need to, I need to minimize the green and beads, green and blue beads, so that I can use red beads at maximum number of cells. Now, how will you do that? What are the condition? Two adjacent cells should not have the same color bead. The second condition is between any two blue, there should be one green, right? Between any two blue, at least one green between any two blue beads, right? At least one green between any two blue beads and between any two red, one green and one blue, all right? So now let's try to make a configuration with the maximum number of red. So what you have to do is keep this in mind. The conditions given here are applicable only row wise or column wise. It's not applicable diagonal wise, right? So now, if I have to satisfy this condition row wise, then you see that I need to place red over here, right? I can place red over here also. Okay. Then at a gap of two, I will be placing red here. And then column wise, I need to satisfy the condition. Row wise, again, I need to satisfy the condition. So I'll place red here. In row wise and column wise, am I left with any position where I can place? Where I can place the red bead? No, row wise and column wise, I'm not left with any place because I need a gap of at least two cells between any two red beads. Okay. What else can happen? Can I place blue bead here? Okay. Where else I can place red? I cannot place here in these positions. But can I place red over here? Yes, I can place red here because the condition diagonal wise is not given. Diagonal wise, you can place the same color bead. And because I'm supposed to maximize the number of red beads, so I'll first place the red beads as, as many places as possible. So diagonal wise, I can place over here all these values. Also in this case, I can place a red here diagonal wise. Also in this case, I place a red here diagonal wise, right? Is there any other way left? No. Now a gap of two between the two red beads is not possible. These are the only cases that you can, can I place red here in this diagonal? No, and then the column wise, these two red will be same, right? Now, I also need to make sure that between these two red, one green and one blue should be used. At least one green and one blue should be used. But then there's also a condition between any two blue, there has to be one green. 
So if I'm placing blue here, let's say, let's say if I'm placing blue here, let me use the color blue here, right? So if I'm placing the blue bead here, right? if I'm placing the blue bead here, I, I need to make sure I'm not placing blue here. Why? Because between any two blue, there should be one green. Between any two blue, there should be one green. So if I'm placing blue here, I cannot place blue here, right? Then where will I place blue? I will place blue here, okay? And what will the, uh, okay, blue is coming here, then I need to place green here. I'll write it down with a green color here. Okay, then, uh, right, so I'm placing blue here, right? Can I place, uh, okay, then, uh, then next I can place blue here, right? All right, now, now the condition of blue and green, right? I need to place a green bead here, right? Between any two, right? Blue, I need a green here. Between any two blue, I need a green here, right? Now, what will happen here, right? What do I need to place over here? Uh, between any two red, I need to place blue and green, okay? Now, let's go ahead with this. What do we need to, where do we need to place blue here, right? Okay, so if I place blue here, let's say, then you see that automatically green will come over here, right? Then I need to place green here. Now, I also have these two as red. I need to place blue and green in this case also. I need to place blue and green here also. Now, is it possible to place blue here? No, because two blue will be same. Then I can place only green. If I'm placing green here, can I place green here? No, then I need to place blue here. So if blue is coming here, then green will come over here, right? Okay. What else? Now let's, okay, if green is coming here, can I place green here? No, I need to place blue here, right? So in these two cells, I need to place a blue color bead. So blue will come over here, blue will come over here. Now between these two red, again I need blue and green. So blue is coming over here, right? I need to place a green color bead over here, right? Between these two red, I need blue and green, right? So blue is already there. So I need to place green here, all right? What else? So uh, can I place blue here? Is it possible to place blue here? No. If I am having a blue color over here, then I cannot place blue here. Why? Because between any two blue, I need green. I have red here, so the only possibility here is to place a green color, right? So here I'll have a green color. What else I'm left with? This is the only cell I'm left with. Can I place blue here? This is blue. Between any two blue, I need green. If it is red here, then I need to use green color. That's the case now. This configuration is now completed. All you have to do is just keep those three conditions in the mind and keep on filling the information that is not difficult at all. Right, I have already told you this is exactly in the pattern of CAT 2017 matrix base set, which we have already covered. The video solution of that is also given in this on LRDA prep. So you see that what is the maximum number of times we have used red? Let's count it. Five times on the diagonal wise, two times here, seven and two times here, nine. Nine is the maximum number of cells where you can place the red bead. So nine is the answer to the question. Question number two. All right, so here is the next, you have the question number three, you try this and the solution will be discussed in the next part of the video, right, in the part three. Thank you so much for joining the session. LRDS Smear is a referral code for plus subscription. This is the YouTube channel that you need to subscribe to get, you know, all of the videos of LR and DI for your CAT and other ambient exam preparation. This is my Telegram group that you can subscribe to. Uh, to get free content and to attend my free special classes on Unacademy as well as to get updates about all of my plus courses on Unacademy. The link of the telegram is given in the description part and so also you need to subscribe the largest weekly scholarship test that is happening on Unacademy. You can register completely free by using the referral codes LRDS Samir and uh, you can win scholarship up to rupees 28 lakh with all these given benefits here. Thank you so much for watching the video. See you in the next part.